Hey up everyone, this is the Yorkshire Panda back on Enigmatica 6 and uh, yeah, we're in today, we were going through Britannia. So we've got a little further, we've got our runic altar, we've got our botanical brewer. I haven't gone through the these just yet, but I'm going to get those made soon enough. But what we are doing this time is the agglomeration plate. So we are going to need one of those, we are going to need some blocks of lapis. We are going to need a terra steel ingot, which we make with the agglomeration plate. So, let's get the lapis. That is easy enough to make. Uh, three, four. And let's get... Oh, we're going to need three more of those, actually. One, two, three. Um, oh, back in a second. Right, there we go. That would have been a lot easier. Still going to do that silly thing with the um, storage drawers and the RS, the refined storage network, but I'm hoping I can just make storage drawers, uh, like a full storage network that I can just get rid of drawers and I can hold millions of items anyway. Working on it. Not going to do anything just yet. So, we need to make our terra steel collaboration plates. We need a man block of man steel. That's easy enough. We need another rune of water and another rune of mana because we used a couple when we were building our stuff here. So, the rune of mana, I think that was easy enough, wasn't it? Yeah, just five of these. One of these? Nope. <laughs> ah, the other one. Mana pearl. Mana pearl or mana diamond. Well, we ain't got many mana, as many mana diamonds, so let's go for the mana pearl. Right, so just got to get that done. And the uh, the other one, which was the rune of water. So fishing rod, sugar cane, bone meal. Right. Let me get a chest for some of this. Back in a moment when I've just got those made up. And we're just finishing off the rune of water. So we need to slap one of those in there. And that's our agglomeration plate. Now, we need to get our little Britannia book out. Because when it comes to the agglomeration plate, uh, uh, terrestrial, let's... Just go straight into the index and find it through here. So T T T T T T T. And it's not on there, is it? It's listed under something else. Oh, dag nabbit. So no, uh, we want. Don't want the basics. Uh, we don't need the artifacts, other flora, other generation. We want mana manipulation. Nope, not the manipulation. The mystical items. Nope, not the mystical items. The mystical apparatus. Nope. 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 Okay, that's just doing this to annoy me, that one. Ah, but you can see it here. What we need is this platform to sit on. So we need five of these, four of these. I'm going to move that because that's really off centre. So <laughs> let's get you here instead. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Do you know that would bugging me sticking out actually? So, right, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, one. This is a mystical a terrestrial agglomeration plate. Now, this does work with sparks. So, if we, if I was to put that there, I do believe that's all you need to do. 
he says. So, yeah, so that's about right. But what we need to make now is a ter terra steel ingot. One mana ingot, one mana diamond, one mana pearl. So we haven't got much in the way of mana diamonds and mana pearls. We've only got uh, five of each. But right click, right click, right click. The sparks transfer the mana. You point it back at you. There we go. And it does its business. This is another process that you can automate with refined storage and a hopper uh, or a dropper. Britannia has a dropper that's perfect for stuff like this. Because it drops vertically rather than just spit it out in a semi random direction. But this does use up quite a bit of mana of which I am not generating fast enough so I could probably do with more of these but I could do with a lot more mana generation so because we do need to get the portal to Alfheim, which means we need to be having an almost constant stream of mana. Um, I also, while well, think on, gonna need another spark. So let's just create one more. There we go. So let's have a look at generating Flora. So. There are a few things that we could completely automate. Munch use is one of them. Eats leaves. Bit dangerous to do in here, because it'll rip you out my entire roof. But if I built the basement back under there again, I could have the eaten leaves that's been placed by a block placer. Um, and we can generate leaves through trees and botany pots. So munch dew is quite easy. Thermally, it needs lava, but it absorbs the lava. So you need a constant supply of lava in order for that to work. Same with hydrangea, needs a constant supply of water. Um, hydrangeas, though, that's it. They decay after around three days. So they're good for a temporary boost, not for long term. Thermal lilies don't. They stay around, but we need lava generation. Uh, that's the one that eats slimes. Which, if we had a slime um, spawner, that... That would be good. Because we're finding some slimes and killing them, trying to get slime egg. We can slime spawn it. That would be very good. Um, the rules Arcana uses are experience points, which I think for now might be a good shout, just as a temporary booster. Um, the Entrepeneum. Ah, TNT. Blow up TNT next to it, it absorbs the blast, turns it into mana. Again, great if you want. You can create tiny TNT that doesn't do damage. It still creates the explosion. Uh, and then we've got the Ender Flame as well. Mine, actually, we might actually make this Rosa Arcana. So what do I need? Two purple, one lime, two pink, and a Rune of Mana. Um, so I need a Rune of Mana. One, two, three, four, f five, you... No, have I gone too many? Nope. How do we make the Rune of Mana again? One, two, three, four, five, and a pearl. There we go. Pop that on there for now. Um, we are going to get... No, there's no point of getting some Rune of Pearls, because they're just going to fill up there. 
So what did I need for the Rosa Arcana? Two purple, two pink, and a lime. So uh, that's pink. That's purple. Um, and that's the lime. So. Oh, I've accidentally placed it on the ground. Give me that back. So drop it in. Two purple, two pink, a lime. And... Uh, oh, this popped. Oh, but it didn't give me anything. It was purely because I ran out of mana. Right. Um, Runa mana. And then we need some seeds. And we've got a Rosa Arcana. Right. So with this, let me put you here. And does sparks work on flowers? I don't think they do, do they? No. So let's get a mana spreader. Which needs a petal in the middle. So that's connected to that. I want you to connect to you. I'll make sure you're connected to you. You're connected to you. Right. So the question is, how does this work? Absorbing the experience of nearby players, turn it into mana. connected to that spreader. Don't want you to connect to that spreader. I need to connect to that spreader. There we go. And that spreader connects to right. So mana spreader you connect to you. No, you connect to and then I want the Rosa Arcana sat behind it. And you're connected to you, which connects to you. All with me so far. Although this is just being an absolute pain. Why are you pointing that way? I got this to oh that's why it's great to function mode shift and right click where you put enough you change the one to function by mode I need it on bind mode and now it's working as intended oh wow my experience is dropping quite quickly but that filling up quite nicely so if I stand on top of you let me get a some redstone like a lever. <laughs> nope, redstone doesn't stop you. But that is working wonderfully actually. So that is, that has filled that mana spreader. I wonder if I can get a couple working the same plant. Nope. Yep, 
go back to what we've done before then. So you connect to you, you fill up the mana pool. Mana pool fill up nicely. We lose experience from every time we get down here, but method of the easy solution to that is we don't go around there unless we need to. Right. I think the lava generating plant is going to be the best one. So the solution, the question is, how do we get an infinite source of lava that we can use to create mana? That is all in here. So one of the rituals is the serenade of the nether. What that does is it creates a lava block on top of the master ritual stone. So if we get a couple of these and these. So we don't need four, don't we? So we can get these back here, get these back here. Made some extra because I knew full well we'd, we'd come to something needing more rituals. Going to do the magnetism and crusher as well at some point, but not yet. Um, for now, I'm going to put it here, but what I'm going to do is eventually put this underground. So let's get the ritual tuner. Where are you? The diviner, that's the one. Pop you there, and then we want. No, 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 no. Serenade of the Nether. That is R. One of the blocks there. That will get you back, put you there, 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 there. And then if I was to do this and go activate. <laughs> we have lava. Now, how do we make thermal lilies? So, thermal lily. Rune of Earth, Rune of Fire, red, and two orange. Um, Rune of Earth. How do we make runes of fire? Nether Break, Nether Walk, Gunpowder. Nether brick, nether what? Actually, I'm going to make. How many, how many spots is there? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of those. Eight of those. We need gunpowder. And then. Mana, mana. So one, two, three, do, do. And get the living stone. We are gonna need more runes of earth as well, because we've only got the one, but we're just gonna get this one built for now, show off the thermal lily, and then I'll do the rest between uh, off camera. And Living rock, click. That is a couple of runes of fire. Yep, it is. So, do, no, 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 no. so rune of earth, rune of fire. What was it? Rune of earth, rune of fire, two orange and a red. So, we need uh, orange. So, we're going to need 16 of those when we're done. And we need eight red. And before I forget, let's get some seeds. And then we need water for our portal of pocket theory. So let's get our rod of the seas. Which is now not working. Uh, oh, wait, I think it's not working because we don't have any mana. We need to make sure we've got our band of mana with us. 
I think we've got mana. Right. One of those, one of those, two of those, one of those, one of those. And we have a thermal lily. Now, one of the things you can do with thermal lilies, and any plant for that matter, is float it with a little floating um, uh, floating thermal lily. So you can float it. Now, the thing that you need to float it, because obviously merge it with any other floating flower, and it'll float it, but... Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, come on, is there a blank? It's going A to Z, so we're going to get there eventually. T V Nope, goes back to the beginning. <laughs> right. Floating ones will sit on top of you, but you, they don't, you, you don't have to have them a block to sit on. They'll just float, so you can have them on stone ground with a floating flower on top. So it can be quite useful, but for now, this is just going to be a pain. So, question of the thermal lily. Does it require it to be on the same level as the lava? Same altitude. So let's grab this back up again. And let us... pop some now, I'm not going to use dirt in the end I'm going to replace it with something a little less rubbish or I'm going to have this underground anyway so you can't see it but pop a thermal lily there you saw the lava flash and disappear because that has just absorbed some of that lava now if we were to get the mana spreader um, not pop it there put it here make sure we're on bind this flower is connected to this spreader, and this spreader is connected to this pool. So now the thermal lily generates mana, gives it to the spreader, to feeds the pool. And the lava, well, as we've got life points in a blood magic network, will continually spawn. And seeing as the orb's full, how much have we actually got? Uh, is that um, 1 million or... Yeah, it's 1 million LP. Now, it will go down because we're doing rituals. But this will fill it back up again. See, it does go down because of the rituals that are playing out. It's going down pretty quick, actually. Is it going faster than, down faster than it produces? Might be actually. That would be bad if it does. Oh, the thermal is going nuts. Um, right, stop. <laughs> so the problem there is the thermal lily was going, it was generating lava too quick. And the thermal lily wasn't going on cooldown. Um, yeah, not advice for blood majors. It's not kidding. That just halved my <laughs> my network. <laughs> okay, that. Um, Yeah, bad idea. Um, what I might have to do then is do this, but have it generating the infinite lava, pulling it into a tank, and then tanking it, and then placing it back in the world with a thermal lily so I can at least control the speed at which it absolutely destroys my entire <laughs> network. That is absurd. That is utterly absurd. Well, we'll learn some every day. Don't do that. But in the meantime, we do need to get this mana pool up. So what we might have to do is we might have to do that between episodes. Just uh, do some things. Try and get this built back up. Try and automate that uh, process without utterly destroying my blood magic network. 
because that was horrendous. A straight up, yeah, half a million LP gone in an instant. Oh, yikes. That was nasty. Um, but we're doing it so we can get this first Terra Steel. Um, hmm, let's have a look at these though. I mean, Gaia Pylons, we need Pixie Dust. Ah, oh, we need the Elven Trade, so we can't get to those just yet. Uh, we need a beacon, which is easy enough. We just need to kill a couple of withers. Um, actually, on the prospect of wither killing, that is one of the little offshoots. So between some magic, I'm going to go and create a wither farm because we need withers. We need wither stars. And we need a fair few for some of the upgrades that we need. So I've got a plan for that using RF tools. So at some point, we are going to have to shoot off and do a little bit of RF tools work. Um, specifically shields but it doesn't appear to be part of the quest line so oh that'll be a little side project of our own um, but yeah I think that's until I can get some better mana production that's as far as I can do with this let's uh, do these lenses then shall we so show these off for the last uh, little while so lenses uh, Rune of Air and a Mana Lens. So, black Mana Lens is just Mana Steel Round Glass. Can't get any easier than that. Uh, so, one and two. That one's an Air and a Fire. So we've got a fire. Have we got an edge to show it off? Summer, water. No, we don't. Um, what was there? String feather carpet. String feather. And what we might do is do a bit of integrated dynamics as well, so we can get a lot of stuff. Like these automated, but uh, there we go. I mean, I've been wanting to use integrated dynamics to automate stuff for a while. So, to be honest, once we've got the Britannia side sorted, or at least I think next episode, you know, we're we'll straight into integrated dynamics, get the automation, get the auto crafting, get auto things done, um, just so we can make things like this a lot easier. A lot simpler and <laughs> automate mana production with this that's not going to utterly destroy our network. So, uh, lenses. So, we can make the first one, which is the, what is it, the potency lens. And what these do is you pop this on your mana spreader. And what that lens will do, the potency one, will increase the amount that you can send at any one time and then you've got the velocity one which I think pretty self-explanatory increases the speed at which things are sent so you can only have one lens on at a time but uh, oh but what you can do if you shift right click with an empty hand you can take these off if we were to combine with a slime ball so as uh, two lenses slime ball in between we have a composite potency velocity so now if we pop that on there that is sending more magic at once and sending it quicker So that gives us a much more efficient way of getting mana to the mana pool. So we may, I say we may, we are going to end up getting a lot of these lenses. I think what I might have to do is let's get you here. Because 
some of these flowers, I think, are uh, just a bit too much for it. And because if these mana spreads are full, then they're not adequately distributing the mana enough. So if they're empty, like they keep emptying themselves like this, everything that these flowers are producing, none of it's wasted. It's all going into sending. And that will make a big difference there as well. It's like this. This is full instantly. So really, that could do with another one of these gems on there. And it's on there. And then... I mean, it's still immediately full. So in this instance... Even that's not enough. Ah, um, oh, slime lock. Some honey, okay. And a uh, panel, all right. Um, but with the mana spreaders, we can get uh, a pull spreader, which works with redstone, and then the elven mana spreader, which we get soon which is just a better version of the Mana Spreader, and the Gaia one, which is your best version. So that's probably going to be much better with the Elven Spreader than the normal one. But that's it for now. Um, yeah, next episode we're going to get into Integrated Dynamics. I think we are going to get that done, because we can automate this, so we can tell it to switch the um, altar on and off, depending on how much mana is in the system. We can also set up it, set it up so that it'll create certain slates depending on input, whether you pull a lever or read an inventory. So I may have a way of just automating slate production as well, which isn't wholly necessary at the minute because of there's not much with blood magic we can do now. But it's to show you it can be done. I should have done it ages ago. Um, rather than sitting here for hours just watching slates slowly produce. Um, but we can also use it for these as well, so we can tell this mana pool when it's at a certain um, capacity to start generating mana through things like the thermal lilies. Um, but yeah, for that, I'm going to have to create an underground, so I'm going to have to dig the basement out for this before I can do any of that. So between episodes, I'll get the basement dug out, so we can get into a bit more production um, because of how we're changing all this may knock this wall through as well start using this area a little bit but uh, yeah do the usual things go into your comments hit your likes hit your subscribes comment away you guys take it steady have a good one i'll see you in the next one Bye bye